Hello, hello, hello. You guys say hello when you come in. <clears throat> it's Thursday night. Thursday night. Sorry about that. Thursday night in the hive. How's everybody doing? Hey, Jonathan, how's it going? Thanks for coming. All right, so I'm just going to get this going here. How's everybody doing? Thursday night in... Jeez, I got to turn everything down. Okay, that's better. All righty, everyone. Hey, Pat. Hey, Rosalia. Hey, Brenda. Hey, Janet. <laughs> A long day of crafting, huh, Jonathan? Yeah. But that's the fun day, right? Whoop, whoop. All right. So tonight, we... Hey, Annette. Hey, Mary. Tonight... We are going to, hey Dora, we're going to be making a wreath with this little bunny head. Isn't it cute? What happened, Sandra? Uh, last my, uh, what happened, Sandra, uh, tell me what happened again. Hey, Nicole, how are you? Right, it's, it's a better, uh, full day of crafting is a better day anytime at work, so. <clears throat> Hello, Karen. Hey, Rosalie. I know I love these guys. I love making these. I got this actually last year at AC Moore um, when they were, you know, clearing everything out. So, even better. Even better. All right. Oh, Sandra, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm sorry about that, Sandra. I will be praying for you. That's hard. That is no fun. No, no baby yet. We're still on baby duty, although she did go um, to the doctors yesterday, to the midwife. Oh, you did this one? I know. Aren't they fun? Hey, Blanche. Um, she went to the midwife yesterday, and... Um, Hey, Sherry, welcome. And she is not, um, she's not dilated or effaced or anything yet. So, I don't know, it's a little crazy. A little crazy. Hey, Susie, how are you? So, we are going to be um, using the 21-inch jute mesh. I love to use this when I make the bunnies. Hey, Susie. So, um, if you guys could share this, I would appreciate it. Hey, Bev, how are you? And I'm just going to gather it. Hey, Maria. Hey, Jackie, how you doing? How are you? Hey, Shirley. I know I love this mesh too, Jonathan. Me too. <clears throat> Did you have your oral surgery today, Jackie? All right, let me just trim this up a little bit. All right, and then we are going to do 12 inch poofs. And all I do is I take it here and I measure the 12 inches, pull it out. Hey, Myrna, how are you? How'd everything go, Jackie? And of course, it's on my handy dandy mesh roller. Love my mesh roller. Thank you for sharing. Hey, Linda, how are you? And then we will puff it out here. Hello, Shirley from West Virginia. How are you? Uh, yeah, I like puffs. The puffs. Poofs. Hey, Julie. Thank you for sharing, Rosemary. Um, the poofs and the... The... Um, oh, I can't think tonight. The ruffles are my favorite. Hey, Connie. How's it going? So don't forget, if you're new to my page... Hey, BJ. How are you? Um... If you do not get alerts, type live in the in the comments and you will get a message from my bot. And you have to answer that um, bot or you will not be subscribed. Information on the group will also be on there. You would just click the group button. So when you um, get the message from my bot, it will um, 
fire off a, a message to you. And there's different things you can choose. Oh, good, BJ. Got your ribbon. I know, I'm waiting on an order um, for it to come. Oh, Janet, you're going to love your mesh roller. I love my... I really do. I don't know, you know, before, you know, when you had to throw it on the floor. and oh, You got your ultimate yesterday, Julie? Awesome. Have you used it yet? I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So, yeah, so make sure you answer the questions from the bot. Um, otherwise, you will not be subscribed. Make sure that also you're like, you like my page and follow my page. If you don't follow my page, then I don't know if the bots will show up. Oh, awesome, Blanche. Hey, Tichelle, how are you? I am making a bunny wreath. So make sure you answer the questions from the bot. All right, so I have the top part done here. And then what I do is I have those. Oh, awesome, Nicole. I have those half pipe cleaners here. And I'm just going to bring it right down into that one. You don't want to pull it tight because you don't want to pull that over. So I'll just pop that into there. Hey, Pat from Minnesota. How are you? Thank you for sharing, Shirley. Pat, my sister lives, I don't know, I'm not, my sister lives in Shakopee, Minnesota. Is that close to you? <clears throat> she lives in Shakopee. <laughs> Happy New Year to you too, Susie. I know it's crazy. It's the new year already, right? Whew. Thanks for sharing, Janet. I appreciate that. Love shares. Yeah, I'm waiting for um, more of the ribbon to come in and more of the um, signs to come in so I can send the rest of my orders out. I'm waiting on that. So, getting busy. Getting busy. Thank you for sharing. And, you know, the half pipe cleaners, um, for those of you who are new, I don't put my ribbon tails in. Hey, Wendy from Tennessee. Thank you for sh uh, sharing, Susie. So I just tuck them under. It's just a preference that I have. You can, you know, put streamers in all of them if you want. Thanks for sharing, Jonathan. So... Hey, Marianne, how's it going? Getting my poofs all done here. Doing 12-inch poofs. Thank you, Janet. I appreciate it. I don't know why, for some reason, on Thursday nights, I don't get as many people on, but that's okay. Monday nights, I seem to have a lot more people. Oh, meters. Karen, I don't know meters, but um, this roll is a 30 yard or 10 yard roll sorry 10 yard roll and because I'm going to go and after I do these poofs I'm going to go back and do the zigzag method with it so that I make sure everything's covered I will probably use almost the whole roll oh yeah so is it close to you Patricia yeah she's lived there oh gosh Hey, Becky, like 15 years now, I went out to visit her once. She took me to that Mall of America, and that place is crazy. Huge. <clears throat> but pretty cool. And it was cold and windy here today. It was so windy. Oh, my word. Hey, Sherry from Kentucky. How are you? No problem, Karen. Hey, June from Ohio. How's it going? Oh, awesome, T-Shell. That will be fun. No problem. Let me know. Hey, Kelly. How's it going? It snowed there all day. Ugh, yuck. Yuck. 
How much are you supposed to get or how much do you have already? Oh, awesome, Dawn. Yeah, windy in Pittsburgh. Yeah, I know. It's been super windy here today. It's been crazy how windy it is. Hey, Teresa, how's it going? You love the Mall of America? That place is huge. No baby yet, Joy. We're still waiting. I was just telling them earlier that she went to her midwife yesterday and no, not dilated at all and um, not even effaced at all. Hey, Muriel, how are you? So um, we're just waiting, you know, did you get three inches? Oh, that's not too bad. Cold and windy in Michigan, yep. I just, I mean, you know, whenever it rains, I'm like, at least it's not snow. At least it's not snow. <laughs> you know, that snow is a pain to have to deal with, so. You got four to five inches already? Ugh. Keep it your way, Nicole. You can have it. I don't want it. Oh, good, Lori. Yeah, I got them in. I got the rest of them in yesterday. Of course it is a net. <laughs> It's nice and sunny in California, Dad. Um, yeah, I got the rest of the trucks in yesterday. Yesterday? So I shipped the rest of them out. Oh, thanks, Shirley. No problem. Um, I think I have a couple left. You'd rather have snow than rain? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You've got a birthday coming up. Happy birthday. I am. You know, Blanche, it's so funny. I took my one grandson today to um, speech therapy. I take him to speech therapy every um, every Thursday. And I was talking to him, and I said, so what do you think Aunt Jess is going to have? Oh, boy, Pat. And he says, well, I, you know, because I, I said to him, I said, well, I think it's going to be a boy. And he says, It'll probably be a boy, but I'm praying for a girl. <laughs> it's so cute. I'm like, well, you keep praying. Maybe, just maybe. <laughs> All right, so I'm back at the beginning. I'm going to tuck that one in. Hey, Judy, how are you? I know. I'm so glad you're finally getting them, Trixie. I don't know. I Sometimes I just can't figure them out. Okay, so that is... Hey, Marlene. Hey, Dorothy. So this is... Hey, Jerry Lynn. Um, so that's with all the poofs. Now, what I do, because this, thin, this is a little thin, so just to fill it all in, what I do is then I go back and I do the zigzag. I don't measure these poofs. I just kind of um, eyeball them. So right now I'm on the bottom row. So then I take it and I go up, whoops, up to the top row. And I just do a loose poof. I don't do it um, <clears throat> really tight or anything. So just kind of fill it in a little bit. And then I'm on the top. So now I'm going to take it down to the bottom. So I basically just zigzag back and forth. From the top to the bottom, the bottom to the top. And this is a great way if you have thinner mesh or mesh that, you know, is kind of a little more see-through, like the jute can be. Um, it just fills it in a little more and makes it fuller. And even though you probably don't need to do it because, you know, by the time you add your streamers and all that other stuff, it's really not necessary. But... I just kind of like to do it to make sure that the wreath is nice and full. <clears throat> so we'll just finish up and then you're doing this when you do the poofs like this and then go back and forth and do the zigzag. You will use pretty much the whole roll if not the whole roll. Kind of just depends. Hey, Nelia, how are you? Neil, Neil, Neely. Ugh. I'm having trouble tonight. So it just fills it in better. You know, and then just go back and 
stretch everything out, make your tubes better, and that kind of stuff. So. Yep, but we're still on baby duty, still waiting, waiting to see what happens, when it happens. Although, if she doesn't have it by Monday, um, yeah, if she doesn't have the baby by Monday, then um, the midwife said that they'll do a stress test just to make sure everything's going okay. Oh, seven inches. Whew. You're in rich. I used to live in Midlothian, Nancy. Loved, loved, loved Virginia. Hey, Cindy. Hey, Reba. Hey, Sandy. No problem, Deborah. Yeah, I love Virginia. We lived there for seven and a half years. And when I found out that we had to move back up, you know, up to Pennsylvania, I cried. I loved it there so much. But God knew what he was doing. So, almost back at the beginning here. You're in Ashland? Okay. Yeah, there's another um, girl that's on a lot, Kim. She's from down there. Hey, Shirley, how are you? Hey, Cheryl, no problem. Glad you're here. Like I said, if you guys could share this video, I would very much appreciate it. So we're just about done with the base here. And then we'll go back and make sure we have... Everything proofed out. We're back at the beginning. So this will be our last one. Are oh, you live in Virginia also? Oh, cool. I loved Virginia. I really did. I did not want to move back up north. Okay, so then just cut it off. And then I'm just going to tuck it under. Oh, you're east of Richmond. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I did. I loved it. I loved it, loved it, loved it up there. It's too big. Don't need one that big. And then I always just take it, and this is probably an unnecessary step too, but um, I always just take it and then just zip tie it um, to the frame so it doesn't go anywhere. Hey, Brandy, how are you? From Fayetteville, North Carolina. Okay, cut that off. My husband and I always said we would retire to North Carolina or move there, you know, when we got older. But now that, you know, we have grandbabies, we won't leave here. Oh, good, Cheryl. There we go. Thank you, Sean. I appreciate it. All right. So now what I'll do, like I said, is I just kind of go make sure everything's poofed out. Maybe make sure I can find my pipe cleaners. Because sometimes they kind of get lost in the bottom there. Fluff everything out. <clears throat> Awesome, Jerry Lynn. Yeah, like I said, I'm still waiting for um, some more ribbon to come in. So those of you who have not received your order yet. Awesome. All right, so that is the, hey, Karen, how are you? The base. So then we're going to put our ribbons on. And these are the ribbons we're going to use. I'm going to use the pink, hey Sandy, with the green checked, and then the pink and green check with the lime green. So we're going to do two different ones, and we're going to um, alternate them. I love the spring ribbons. They're so nice. And I don't sell mesh. I do um, some ribbon and some signs. I'm getting more um, ribbon and signs in hopefully soon, so I'll get the rest of the orders out. I ordered a lot of stuff for the Easter kit today, so hopefully that will get here next week. Hey Pearl, how are you? 
Oh, Karen, I'm sure you do not want to go back to the cold. I do, Cheryl. I always put um, half pipe cleaners. I don't um, on my my one ring. Let me see if I can. I have it right there. Um, hey, Susan, how are you? So I'm just gathering it together. And then this ribbon is, I always use all wired ribbon, and this is cut to 14 inches. So um, let me show you a frame to kind of show you what I do with my half pipe cleaners. I keep one here because I get questions all the time about that. All right. Whoop. Okay. So this is um, the frame I use. It's a Dollar Tree frame. Hey, Brandy, how are you? No problem. So what I do is on the inner, the very inner row, I put half pipe cleaners or full pipe cleaners. I'm sorry. Um, the third row, I put half pipe cleaners on the crossbar where this one is. And then in between, I use a full pipe cleaner in between. The half pipe cleaners, I do not put ribbon in. I just put mesh in it. And that's just a preference for me. Um, nope, no grandbaby yet. Not yet. Um, the pink and the green, I will have in my shop soon. But the plaid, I got this from Paper Mart. So, um, yeah, and it was really, it was a good price. So it's a 14 inch wreath frame from the Dollar Tree, but the linens I will have back in my shop soon. Just waiting on getting them in. So, hey, Esmeralda, how are you? I know I love these colors. Love, love, love these colors. No problem, Marianne. So we had a um, good time in the group last night. Was it last night? No, that was... Oh, no, yesterday afternoon. <laughs> so Tuesday I went on and we made um, we made a wreath. I already sold it. I already, already shipped it out. Um, made a wreath. And then yesterday in... Hey, Connie, how are you? In the group, um, I had a bow to make for this um, wreath here that I'm selling. So I just hopped on and, you know, did a, did a live with the group. Well, we had a good time. We always have fun in the group. Ugh, making my nose itch. Hey, Martha, how are you? I do, Martha. Um, I just showed the, um, how I do it when I'm done with this. So I can show you guys again. Hey, Debbie, how are you? And hey, Colleen. So my, um, just to recap, for those of you who are just coming on, I did 12-inch um, uh, poofs with the 21-inch jute mesh. And then these ribbons, I have four different colored ribbons, and I cut them to 14 inches. Um, the wreaths run anywhere from 65 to 95. This one's probably going to be in the $70 to $75 range, something like that. It all depends what I put on it, what the supplies cost. So, but I would say on average, my wreaths are between $60 and $80, something like that. So probably, you know, around the average, I'd say. Just depends. And um, if you're in my group, you get a discount on all the ribbons I sell, the signs I sell, the wreaths. So they get a discount on that stuff, and they get first dibs on everything. So when I do my kits, I always post it in the group first so they can get their stuff ordered if they want it. It's not necessary to buy it, but like I said, I'm working on an Easter kit now. So hopefully I will um, have all the materials for that in the next week or two. Hey, Linda, it's a 14-inch frame from the Dollar Tree. I like to make my own wreath frames. Hey, Peggy, how are you? 
I know a lot of people use um, the work frames. I don't know. I just kind of like to make my own. So don't forget, if you're new, type in live to get an alert when I go live. Please like and follow my page and share my page with your friends and family if you would. <clears throat> and this will be for sale in my Etsy shop when it's done. Isn't it cute? Love these colors. Love these colors. I know, right? It's a great price and it's 20 yards. Yeah. Yeah. It's great, great prices. I knew it was around the three or four dollar range, but I wasn't sure. But yeah, anybody can order it from Paper Mart. This plaid. I got this. I got um, some art. I'm, I just, I love it. Hey, Johnny, how are you? Yeah, they had some really cute ribbons. So. Hey, Rose, how are you? <laughs> yeah, right? Doesn't it? It reminds you of that. It does remind you of dresses from when we were little. Yeah. I know. Don't you love these colors? I really do. When I was trying to decide what colors I was going to use, because this bunny is kind of, um, it's, it's, it's not really a pink pink. But I was like, hmm, but the pink looks good with it. What did I just drop? I just dropped something. Oh, well. So. Thank you, Mary Ellen. I appreciate that. So I'll show you why I don't put, um, once I get these last couple of ribbons on, why I don't put the streamers or the ribbon tails in those half pipe cleaners. Um, I'll show you why. And that's just, a, again, it's a personal preference on my part. Yeah, exactly, Courtney or Connie. I wasn't sure, like, you know, what, but I'm like, well, when I put the pink up to it, it looked, it looked good. Thanks, Jen. I know I do too. The pinks and the greens, so cute. One more to go. Hey, Remy, how are you? Welcome, welcome. So this is the last one here. all right so the reason i don't put if you look here like here's one right a full pipe cleaner the half pipe cleaner is right there and then you have another full pipe cleaner we'll do a basic number of ribbon sets around or do you i won't see what it looks better um so that's why if i put one here they would literally be sitting on top of each other like see how close the ones on the top row are well, these would be even closer. Um, what I do, Brandy, is I always put it in the top, on the, the six on the top. Thank you, Muriel. And then six on the bottom. So I do, you know, six sets of each color if I'm doing four different ribbons. Okay, so let's get the bunny head ready. I dropped one of my carrots. I dropped one of my carrots. Oh, I dropped another carrot. Goodness gracious, that must have came out when the ribbon came out. Okay, so I have some. Let's get the bunny head ready. While I... Oh, good, Chris. Awesome. All right, so what we're going to do... Blue gun on here is hey Vicky, how are you? Turn my glue gun on, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
put a pipe cleaner here, one here, and one up here. And what I do is I take my um, my my ice pick, okay, and I just put it right through. Now you want to make sure you don't go all the way through to the front, but you kind of want to poke a hole there and put another one here. And then I will put one in here. In here. And then you want to make sure you don't put it all through the front. Um, this I got from AC Moore last year at the end of the year. Oh, I love my glue gun. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Um, Dora, no, if I'm using a smaller wreath, like if I'm using a... Um, a four or a 12 inch wreath frame I'll cut them 12 inches um, sometimes I cut them 13 you know just there'll be a little more ribbon show or a little more um, a little more of the mesh showing it just depends it's not hot enough yet as soon as that gets hot what I'll do is I'll just shoot a little hot glue in there and then I will take I will take and stick them down inside of there. Oh, Jonathan, I love this glue gun, don't you? I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I know, it's great that it's rechargeable. You don't have to have... Um, okay, then I will just take that and kind of stick that down in there. Make sure it goes down there good. Get this end. Okay. Make sure that's in there and then put another pop of glue in there when I'm done. Make sure that that goes in there so it holds. That one doesn't want to go in. There we go. Oh, thank you, Karen. Okay, and then the last one up here. It is a Black & Decker cordless glue gun. I got it from Amazon. I absolutely love it. You know, I have a Ryobi that someone actually sent me, but um, the battery does not last that long. Where's my hole? Yeah, the battery does not last long at all. Okay, so I have all those in there, and then what I will do is I will just take a good bit of glue there and make sure it's going to stay in there nice and tight. <laughs> I know they're great. They are great. All right, so that's going to, um, let me see, I think I have, let's see, let's see, let's see. I think I have, yep, I do. I have an affiliate link for it on Amazon, so I'll send you guys the link. So there's the link to the um the oops to the glue gun. There we go. <clears throat> no, it's not heavy at all. It is not heavy at all. It really is light. I really like it. Like I said, someone sent me the Ryobi. Um, I'm looking at um, different um, batteries for it because it just like the charge is so quick. Maybe it's just mine. I don't know. But it doesn't really hold a charge that long. Like, it only lasts, like, a half hour. Well, when I'm on a live, I kind of keep it going just in case I need it. Thank you for sharing, Barbara. Yeah, so I love, and I bought, um, I think it comes with one battery, but I bought an extra battery. So I always have one charging, and then I always have one, you know, on my glue gun. 
So I need it anyway. Okay. So while this is curing, because we want that glue to dry, we're going to add... Okay. Yeah, right, Trixie? I don't think so either. So I have these little carrots and I have some little eggs. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to alternate the carrots for the eggs. I'm gonna drop them. All right, so I'm going to just twist these real good and then cut them off. And then just push one down and then you want to make sure that your ribbon tails are the way you want them because then I'm going to use my handy dandy pick. Yeah, I do too. I keep one on the charger and one, like I said, I have a battery. Okay, and then I just put it right on that and that'll help hold your ribbons where you want them also. So then I'm going to add a carrot to this one. I think I'm going to try it this way. Let's put a little glue in there. So it kind of sticks up a little bit. Okay, like that. So we have a carrot and we have an egg, so then we'll do an egg in here. Yeah, I keep a battery on the charger all the time, and then that I just switch them out. Okay, and we have purple, so we'll do a blue here. I know, I love the colors, don't you, Jonathan? I love the colors. You know, after, you, after you've done Christmas for so long, because, you know, we wreath makers, we do Christmas, you know, from July all the way through November. So I love just the freshness of the new colors of spring. Okay, so now we'll do a carrot here. Hey Kay, how are you? Got a good amount of glue there. But it's gonna hold good. Just pop it in there and then twist it a little so it kind of sits up a little bit. Do a yellow one here. Yes, it is the Dollar Tree frame. Yep. I think 99.9999999% of the time <coughs> I use the Dollar Tree frame. I don't know why I just like them. Hey, Shelly, how are you? So once you get that in there, make sure your ribbons are where you want them because that'll help hold that ribbon in place too. Okay. Put this one down here because, hey Shelly. Where the head is. I only have a couple more of these, so <laughs> no problem, Mary. You? Oh, ow, ow, ow. I hate when I get that. Those are one of my fingers. Yeah, they are, aren't they, Jonathan? Okay, so let's get a pink one here. Hey, Alan, how are you? Hey, Kay. 
Um, you know what? I didn't K. These carrots are actually from last year. What I try to do is at the end of the season, I try to go and get all this stuff when it goes on sale. Thank you, Mary. So these I actually got last year, and this is, I think, the rest of all I have. Oh, awesome. All of the carrots I have from last from last year. I know. Aren't they cute, though? A little carrot. Oh, that's not right. I should have put a... Should have put a, a um, egg there. Oh, I wasn't paying attention, you guys. Okay, here's where the carrot's going to go. I know, I, lo I do love the, the glue gun. I really do. It's great. And I've had it for quite a while now. But like I said, I always have extra batteries. Hey, Sherry. Well, thank you. Thanks for watching. Yeah, uh, it is, you know, the Easter stuff. It's not, um, I was at AC Moore today, and they were just starting to put some of it out. I know, Alan. Glue guns, ugh, I got a nasty cut, which was it here or here? forget how long ago and man did that baby hurt okay so let me put a pink one there i'll put the green one here i know she'll i can't remember if you're shipped out yet or not i had to wait um some of it i had to order so i'm hoping that it's in soon the signs i still haven't gotten yet i'm waiting to, for them to call me and tell me they're ready so i can go pick them out the rest of them Hey, Angie, how are you? Thanks, Sybil. So hopefully that stuff will be in, I doubt if it will be in tomorrow, but probably middle of next week. And then I will post what I have left. All right. Let's see. Thank you. All right, so one carrot left. One carrot left. <clears throat> one carrot left. I know these little carrots are so stinking cute. Phew, just had enough because I didn't use that one up there. Last one. Maybe the purple. We'll go with the purple. Hey, Jane, how are you? Thanks, Sheila. I know I love these ribbons, too. Love them, love them, love them. Okay. All righty. So, this should be just about ready now. Jane. Okay. More, what do you mean boxed ribbon? This came from Michael's. I actually got this from Michael's um, like two weeks ago or something. Isn't that cute with the eggs? I know. I, um, Jonathan, I got that too, and I haven't seen, I was looking for some more of these eggs and stuff, but they weren't on there, Jonathan. Did you see them? I didn't see them. Hey, Venus, how are you? No worries. So I was looking for them. I ordered, um, I ordered some of their mesh tubing. I know, right? Okay, so this is pretty much dried now. So we are, um, I thought, hmm. 
Okay, so let's see where we're going to put this guy. Let's cut this off. I'm going to cut that off because we're not going to use it. Don't cut your finger. All right, so I'll put his little head there. Yeah, I didn't, but I didn't see them. I was looking for them, and I couldn't find the ones I was looking for. Hey, Casey, how are you? The Benny, the bunny came from um, AC Moore last year. Round. There we go. Hello, Marianne. I know I love I love these bunnies. I have some of the kits with the paws, so I'm gonna make that too. Hey Rebecca, welcome. Glad you're here. Hey Diane. So I'm gonna put that there. And then I'm gonna feed this through here. Welcome, welcome, Rebecca. I know that's the thing to do when you, at the end of the year, um, kind of stock up on this stuff. Welcome, Vicki. We're glad you're here. Hey, Helen. How are you? Love that the little character right there, too. <laughs> Sharon, yeah, if you're new to my page and don't receive alerts, type in live and you will get um, a message from my bot. Hello from Nevada. And you have to um, answer the bot. You have to click on where it says live or wreath group if you're interested in my wreath group. Um, and then you'll be subscribed. But you also have to make sure you like and follow my page. So. Oh, I love it. Look how cute. Hey, Becky. Thank you for sharing. Very much appreciate it. And you can, you know, put his little ear up too. It doesn't have to be flat. What do you guys think? Doesn't turn out cute. Whoops. Uh oh, caught on my thing here. I know, aren't they? Yeah, they really are. They're very affordable, these um, heads. I know you can order them from um, Craft Outlet and that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, turned out cute. But I do, I love these little bunnies. Like I said, I have some with the head and the paws. So I know I'm going to make one of those. Oh, it keeps getting caught. He's getting caught. No, I love him. Her. It's a her. The little pink ribbons. Okay. Yeah, isn't she cute? I love her. Love her, love her, love her. Alrighty. So, um, if you want information on both, just, I think you can click both. But if you have any questions, let me know. And we're still on. Um, oh, thanks. Appreciate that. Thanks, Bernie. She will be for sale in my shop as soon as I get pictures of her and get her up. So if you're interested, I will post it on my page. No, Craft Out Outlet is not wholesale. Anyone can. Um, um, did you say made the ribbons? Um, the pink and the green, I will sell soon, the linens. Um, these um, checkered ones I got from Paper Mart. So you can order directly from Paper Mart, and Paper Mart is not um, wholesale either. You mean uh, this ribbon, BJ, the pink and the green? This came from Paper Mart, and you don't have to have um, the wire around. You mean the frame? Oh, you can order a nice pick from Amazon. 
Oh, no problem, Darla. Oh, no problem, Nicole. So this is the wire frame that I use. Okay, it comes. Where did I put them? Okay, it comes like this, right? It comes just like this from the Dollar Tree, right? Okay, and it has these crossbars. Okay, so what I do, the solids I will have soon. Yeah, the solids I will have soon in my shop. Oh, no problem, Kelly. Thanks for coming. I appreciate it. Um, so what I do is um, on these frames, I put a full pipe cleaner on the very inner row on the crossbar. Then I have a half pipe cleaner on the third ring at the crossbar. So here's a full, here's a half. And then in between the two crossbars, I put one in the third on the third row right in the middle here. Okay, so that's how I go around my whole wreath. Full here, half here, full here. Okay, so I have 12 full and six half. The 12 full is what I put the I put mesh in all of them. But the 12 full is the only thing that I put the ribbon tails in. And that's just a preference. That's just kind of how I like to do it. So that's how I make my wreath frames. I don't know. I just kind of started doing it that way. And that's the way I like them. So, you know, it's up to you. All right, guys. Any more questions before I head off for the night? And uh, be praying for baby. Hopefully it'll be soon. So... Pray that the baby's healthy and happy and it's all good. So like I said, this will be in my in my um, Etsy shop and I will get this ribbon soon. So hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. And then um, that's it for tonight. Thanks, guys. Have a wonderful night and thank you so much for watching and for sharing. I appreciate it. Have a great night. I glue them in, Mar Martha. No, no baby yet, Carol. Yeah, I do have a, a video on my page that shows you exactly how I do the frame. Um, so no problem, Johnny. Um, look for that. If you can't find it, just send me a message and I will um, get that to you. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.